get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the same And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise All right. <laughs> Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm excited. We have Dory Clark. She's a top strategy consultant. She's worked with clients including Google, Microsoft, Morgan Stanley, and many more. She teaches for Duke University at the Business School and has lectured at Harvard Business School, Stanford, MIT, and a long list of others. She's the author of Reinventing You, and her latest book is Stand Out, How to Find Your Breakthrough Idea and Build the Following Around It. Dory, thanks for joining me. Hey, Jeremy. Thanks. I'm really glad to speak with you. You know, Dory, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask the question, uh, what's been the lowest point in your career? And then on the flip side, what's been the proudest moment? What's been the lowest point and then how you push through that first? Yeah. So one low point, I guess, um, maybe maybe the lowest point was uh, actually right right before my first book came out, I... Um, I ended up having this like really terrible breakup with a girlfriend mm. and I had moved to New York for her slash with her. And then we like immediately broke up. And so then I had to, I had to move back to Boston mm. and I That's missed painful. her a lot, but I was also like incredibly angry at her because she had made things very, very hard and difficult for me. Yeah. And so it was just like this terrible tug of emotions. I felt, you know, really lonely about the end of this relationship. Yeah. And I had to market my book while I was doing it. And that's not it, the the best mindset to be in when you're pushing up one of your, your your huge books. Yeah. Yeah. So so I just I felt like I mean I, I couldn't even sleep. I was, you know, yeah. kind of such a wreck. So yeah. so it was it was very hard because there were things that I needed to do and and it was it was just really hard emotionally to be able yeah. to do them. How do you push through that? You know, this is the real stuff to that I love to hear about because life is happening and you know we just talk about business stuff, but someone has a death in the family, they have a breakup. There's stuff going on, illness or something like that and we are having to kind of just push ahead in business despite all this other stuff going around us. What did you do? How'd you, you know, push forward with, at that time? Yeah. I mean, I I think that um, in terms of I, I, I don't I don't know that I necessarily had a lot of really great strategies. I actually yeah. I thought about seeing a therapist and then yeah. I realized I was too busy. I was literally like, <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time to see a therapist. Okay. Yeah. And so <laughs> therapy and so is didn't. taking your get your mind you're too busy to get your mind off of what your pain <laughs> is. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So um so yeah, I mean I guess I guess, you know, it's it, like in the sort of only way in is through kind of thing. I would um I would basically just uh, I, I guess my you know you can argue about its level of adaptability, but my way yeah. through it was just working harder. Yeah. And um and so I was crying every day. I mean wow. every single day I was crying, but um but I just I just worked like a maniac and yeah. eventually, you know I think I think if you keep doing that forever it's not good. But mm -hmm. I think sometimes if you're sort of in a in an acute phase, um, actually distracting yourself through whatever means you know and I think work is better than some of the alternatives of distracting right. oneself. Yes, yes. Um, if, if you can distract yourself long enough, yeah. then you're actually in a better position to be able to, you know, sort of recover and, and be okay. Yeah, because I'm sure someone listening to this or watching this is going through something in their life and, you know, and trying to push through to whatever they're trying to do. Um, so, you know, I appreciate you sharing that. And then on the flip side, um, the proudest moment. Yeah. So the proudest moment, um, gosh, there's, uh, there's been a lot of, a lot of really fun things that I feel, I feel excited about. Um, I mean, you know, giving, giving my first, uh, authors at Google talk was really I saw fun that. for yeah. me. That was, uh, that was, you know, really great. Um, you know, that, cause I had watched plenty of them before. And yeah. so getting to, to do my own was a really nice feeling. Yeah. Um, I, you know, certainly seeing my books, you know, having them out there 
was really cool. I mean, actually, just just one that just happened that was pretty yeah. neat was um, was Inc. Magazine named my book uh, stand out the number one leadership book of 2015. Holy cow! So that was really cool. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. What about, um, you know, I was looking on Amazon and I got, you know, Standout and Reinventing You on Audible, but I saw Standout Networking. Yeah. So is that fairly new or is that, was that, yeah, tell me about that. I, so it's an ebook. It's a yeah, short, you know, like Kindle. 60, 60 yeah. page ebook. Um, I released that, I, you know, mostly because I'm a maniac, but I, uh, yeah. I, I released it about a month after Standout came out. I just I thought as like, you know, oh, like it is an experiment. Yeah. Um, there's probably going to be some people that have discovered uh, my work through yeah. through Standout. And yeah. so why not create a yeah. sort of follow on product for yeah. them? So I that agree. was the idea. I thought I saw it. I'm like, Dory, genius, genius. There should be Standout <laughs> Networking, Standout this. Stand- I have written down in my notes like before I saw that which is what's the most important context for standing out and then I saw standout networking and I'm like Dory's a genius yeah that's for sure there could be a branch of any standout you know avenue so yeah yeah, I love that um Dory this has been hugely valuable I really appreciate your time and what final words should we share about standout that we haven't talked about and then just tell people where they should check out check you out and everything yeah, thank you so much, Jeremy. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to chat. Yeah. I mean, in terms of in terms of standout, I would say that um, you know one one of the the mantras that I actually really like from it, um, having interviewed David Allen, the you know getting things done fame. Yeah. One of the quotes that he said that that I, I feel like is one of the best nuggets from standout is he said it doesn't take time to have a great idea; it takes space. Mm. And, you know, if we think about this idea, if our goal is to have breakthrough ideas, how do you best do it? Well, it's it's not like, oh, I need to go into the woods for six months and then I'll have a really great idea. Right. It's it's just finding ways to create mental space in your life so that your brain is free yeah. to be able to make connections and have interesting thoughts. Right. And the more we can do that, you know, the more we can leave white space in our days, yeah. um, the more we can say no to um, pushing ourselves endlessly and ceaselessly, I think mm-hmm. the better off we'll be. Yeah. How do you create mental space? Well, so because you so seem from... like a push, 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 just go. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of. So it. I it's need true. your advice on this too. So go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you know, one of the one of the things that that I'm really excited about is yeah. um, for the last month of the year, you know, for for now on, basically, I got yeah. back yesterday from San Francisco, yeah. so I'm not traveling until the end of the year, and I actually am not. Uh, taking meetings most most of December. I have like maybe one or two days per week that I'm doing yeah, it, yeah. but I've actually reserved the rest of the time for longer term projects like course development and things like that. Mm-hmm. So just putting in your schedule, make sure yeah. it happens. Yeah, exactly. So where should we point people towards? Where should they check out, Dory? Yeah, thank you. So uh, so I would just uh, send them to, uh, to doryclark.com um, th- where they can get the... D-O-R-I-E-C-L-A-R-K. You yeah. got it. Exactly. They can get the standout workbook. They can get, there's 400 free articles on the site. So yeah. I hope people can find some stuff they might like. Fantastic. Dory, thank you so much. Hugely valuable. Everyone should check out Standout, Reinventing You, doryclark.com. Really appreciate it, Dory. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate it. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. Like a beach if you find the sand right now I feel like a hundred grand